What's up, YouTube? Life is not so good here. But I wanted to do a quick video on something I picked up. And it is the Garmin E-Trek Sturdy Personal Handheld Navigation System. This is a nice little unit. Here it is. I already unboxed it. I've loaded it up with the battery. Um, adjusted the language. And let it all load up. Nice little unit. Comes with a couple of booklets in there. Uh, a cord to the download maps from your computer. Um, comes with just a basic. Um, let me turn it on. Basic functions. Um, it searches for for satellites. It works with two different satellite systems: the GLONASS systems and GPS systems. So you don't lose your way. And I think the battery is dead. Wow. Yeah, these batteries are dead. But it is a nice little unit. I might have some batteries over here. Let's see if I can find them. And it, they are dead. Let's see. Where would those batteries be? Over here. I had picked up two packs of batteries the other day when I got it. So obviously, these batteries are gone. Had them in there, left the unit on. It's the battery life on this is 25 hours. So for 25 hours, you get with two batteries, you get 25 hours of use. That's pretty good. I picked this protective case. It's a Tacita protective case, and I picked up the same um, uh, tempered glass cover. To see the glass cover is tempered, so that's pretty good if it falls down, it won't break. And these batteries are history. So let me take this out and then load it up. Start this thing up and you guys can see how it works. Now, the only thing is you gotta it gives you a basic function of where your area you're at. It'll show you the GPS, main streets, and that's about it. It'll guide you through other areas, or other streets, but it won't name them for you. So you do have to purchase another map, which I'm going to purchase. It's a city navigator of all the um, of all the streets in the United States. So I'm going to pick that up, and it should be a little better. Protective case is on right now. Putting it on, and I'll turn this thing on. I picked the protective case the tempered glass protector and I had this Lancer thing over here from another camera so let's see how it starts up okay now it's starting up hope you guys can see this it's supposed to be bright that you can see it in sunlight dark so let's see what happens can you see that okay it has a little joystick here you can go up and down mark a waypoint Start your trip, gives you your location. Also, this thing is nice because it has a compass. It'll tell you which way is north, it'll give you your, 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 your elevation, uh, speed you're walking at, and an estimated time to arrival to your next destination spot. Nice little unit. Um, this gives you a map of the area you're at. Click on that, and that's a satellite imagery. So it's probably using GPS right now, but there are so many satellites up in space that it, it's you need four satellites to get this thing going. So it'll show you. There's another. There's another function here that'll show you the satellites. Let's see if I can find it. Satellites, satellite, and over here it shows you the satellite it's looking for. It seems to have found two and it's very low signal those bars will go all the way up but we need four satellites so in the area we're at right now that I'm at there's a bunch all of these little little pictures of satellites 
I would say it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve satellites right in this area around me. And it's probably more, but because we're indoors, it's not showing them. So that's the thing. But um, uh, you see the GPS is like no signal. But once you're outside, probably more satellites would light up, and these bars all pop up. It'll be like six or eight bars popping up. All you need is four, and you get a good signal, and you get a, a precise location, and you can go on from there. Start, start a wait, mark your waypoint, and start a trip. This is an awesome little machine. I like this little unit. The Garmin E-Trex 30X. You could pick it up like 200 bucks. Not bad. So I plan to use it when I go hiking. I plan to go hiking pretty soon. And I'll use it up there to get me around so I won't get lost. Uh, I've been playing with it over here. I mark the waypoint. I walk into the park across the street. And I just follow it back. Um, the only thing it gives you a direct line back. So if there's like something like a tennis court or something like in the park, you got to walk. It takes you right to it. So you got to make your own way around it. But it tells you. As soon as you get around it, it points you right back to the direction where you should be going. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, I like this little unit. I'm glad I got it. Uh, and that's about it for this little Garmin E-Trex 30X. I was doing research on it. Uh, I was going to get the 20X, but then this one looked better. But right after I picked up this one, they had the 35X that came out a couple of years ago. I was reading about it. It's pretty good. It's touch screen. So that's all right. But I like this one. I'm pretty happy with it. So the 35X is a little bigger, though. This is nice, more compact. I like it. It's nice. It fits nice in your hand. It's durable. You could drop this thing down. It, 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 it won't break. And now with the protective cover... It won't break. It feels sturdy. The, just the casing alone feels strong. So, and it's waterproof. Submersible, underwater for up to 30 minutes. And then it, it won't, without getting damaged. So that's pretty good. You could use it for, for boating. If you're, if you're on a boat, you could switch to... Uh, what's it called? That's the word they have on here. Like the settings. And for, for boating... Then you can switch it for exercise, recreation, uh, hiking, walking, um, even car. If you're in a car, switch it to car mode. and It'll give you your directions in the car. Even in a plane. Let's say you're flying in a plane and your navigation system goes down. You pop this thing out of your pocket, put it in plane mode, it'll fly you through the air, direct, direct you where to go. It's a pretty nice little unit. Um, I'm going to pick up the map. Maybe I'll do another video after I have it. It'll show all the streets that are all around. When you go into the... Oh wow, even has the calculator. I didn't even know that. Look at that. Wow. Okay. As you go... Into the map area... It shows you the basic... The basic area. But once I pick up that other program and download it in this and I have all the little streets and... And... And, and little... I guess some uh, main main roads that are all around here, so it'll be all filled up. It's gonna be nice. Um, I'm gonna plan to do that this week. Pick that up. That's about it, you know. Hopefully, it'll keep me keep me on track and won't get me lost when I go out there, you know. But I'll also use it in the city. There's sometimes you've been, you want to want to find certain directions or addresses. This is perfect for that. Um, yeah, you have a you have a GPS on your cell phone, but the advantage with this. With this Garmin is, um, cell phones do lose signals. Times, you know, if you go inside certain places. Well, this definitely still lose signals inside buildings. You don't get it. But um, um, cell phones do seem to lose signals in certain areas. And as long as you're outside, this won't lose a signal. So, like, see how it's trouble finding satellites. Continue searching? No. I put no. Because we're inside, so it's not even worth it. Shouldn't use a battery power. And that's about it. A nice little case. So I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys liked it. Um, any questions? Leave a comment down in the comment section. And like this video please. And subscribe for more. I'll start doing some more videos pretty soon. Alright. Thanks guys.